What are you making? Grilled cheese spaghetti sandwiches. Oh yeah. <laughs> now when I, when I was in college, I learned the best way to know when your spaghetti's done is you throw it up against the wall and if it sticks, then it's done. My mom didn't like that, but did it anyway. Our wall was covered with spaghetti. There you go. Not done yet. <laughs> it's so next you choose your pasta sauce. We got Del Grosso's tomato and basil because it was on sale. This is optional when doing this, but it, it makes it more fun. So pour the sauce in. Our next step is to mix the, all these ingredients together to butter the bread. But first, I'm gonna give this to my videoer because that's not mine. Woo woo! <laughs> We're going to start with a half teaspoon of basil and put it in our little dish. And then we need two cloves of garlic. We don't have cloves of garlic and I'm not going to the grocery store because there's crazies out there. So we're going to use minced garlic and say that this is one clove. So we're going to put two of these in. One. Next, we need a tablespoon of butter. So next, we spread our mixture onto our bread. And make sure we cover it completely so the bread doesn't burn. Okay, so now that we have the whole piece of bread covered, then we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it to give it that extra flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna build our sandwich. We're gonna use this nice little sandwich maker because it works a whole lot better than doing it on the stove. And I like to build the sandwiches on here before I turn it on. So we're gonna take one piece, butter side down, made this mistake. So lay one piece for each sandwich. So next, the recipe calls for mozzarella cheese and we don't have mozzarella cheese. And again, not going to the grocery store, so we're using American. One slice of American on each sandwich. Now the spaghetti. So we're gonna take a scoop of spaghetti. We're gonna put it on the sandwich. Spread it out. Then another scoop of spaghetti, put it on the other sandwich. And kind of spread it out so it fills the whole sandwich. Then we take our other slice of bread, butter side up. Cheese. Cheese. I just put cheese. Oh, come on. Next, another slice of cheese, as my assistant told me. <laughs> then take our second slice of bread, butter side up this time. Again, made that mistake. Now, turn our griddle on. Uh, I'm gonna guess like 350 or high, and we're gonna turn it on griddle and panini because I turned the bottom and the top one. Take this, sit it down on there gently, and we wait. Oh yeah, bottom looks good. They are done. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Oh, it took about 10 minutes. Wasn't sure, but I'm gonna take them off the heat. Put them on plate. And I'm gonna let them cool down before we enjoy.